Question number one says evaluate the following. We have 213 minus 146. Okay, so one way we can go about answering this question is writing it out on a number line. So here's my number line. Let's just write 146 say is over there and say 213 is over here. Now, what I want to do is I want to uh, plot it, uh, plot numbers on this number line where it's very easy for us to work with. Okay, now what I mean is this. Okay, we can have put 150 there and say put 200 here. Okay, so what am I doing? So I want you to find the difference between from 146 to 150, which is 4. Now the difference from 150 to 200 is 50. And the difference from there to 213 is obviously just 13. Okay, so if we add all these differences up, that should tell us the answer to this question, correct? Now, let's do that. So 4 plus 50 plus 13. Okay, now let's just see what that gives us. It gives me 67. Okay. So that's one way we can um, evaluate questions of subtraction like this, using a number line. Okay. Now, let's have a move on to question number two. Evaluate the following. We have 452 minus 367. Okay, so similarly, let's write it on a number line one more time. So say 367 over there, 452 over here. Okay, now let's see which numbers we can um, round up or go close to. So we have 400. Okay, now from there to here is 33. Now from 400 to 452 is obviously just 52. So the difference between these two numbers should be these two added together. So let's add them together. 33 plus 52 should give us just 85. Okay, so what we've done here is we've um, evaluated um, two numbers when they subtract together. We've used the number line, okay, and we've found a uh, number here. So in this case, you can't see it right now, but it was 400. Okay, we used a number that's very easy for us to go, um, go to. Okay, and we just added those two differences to find the answer to this subtraction.